Hello everyone, this is just um, a kit review of what I've got. Um, what I'll take out with me if I want to go out for a few days. Um, and plus this like um, a kit log for myself as well. So I know what I've got. Um, some fact is I have had stuff gone missing in the past. But, you know, that's life in it. But first of all, what I've got is two, three types of shelters. I've got a double D um, hammock tarp, which is 4.5 metres by 3 metres. Very good tarp. And I've also got um, these taps, which are okay, but uh, this one is the first tarp I had. And two things went wrong with it. The first one wasn't waterproof. And second of all, the brass eyelets, what come with it. Um, had a set of poles what come with it. Set it up, simple A-frame. And the poles actually went straight through with the eyelets. So, had to go out, bought some um, eyelets just from a local shop. Just hammer in and these haven't let me down and that's my second one same one um, done the same thing to that with the eyelets but I've also done an extra precaution of waterproofing it and tested it in the garden set it up lead under it and just had the hose pipe hammering onto it same as the double D tar got a buoy bag which I always take with me simple fact is if the tarp does fail or especially if one night you're too tired to go and sort it out at least you've got somewhere to keep yourself dry um, but if any of my friends can help me out on what's the best way of waterproofing it the stuff what I used for the double D uh, for the tarps it doesn't uh, it just runs off it doesn't, doesn't even touch it so I don't know what's the best solution in here it's just um, <clears throat> desert army bergen cover which I cut and got the sewing machine out yeah I do have a sewing machine um, like to do make pouches and this that and the other just a sleeping bag nothing major just keep it in there keep it nice and uh, clean so especially when it's all in my army bergen which is a really good bergen two side two side pouches and by the time I've got all this kit in it you know there is a fair weight about well I couldn't really tell you without having to put it all back in and weighing it. But I think it might be enough of a video. I keep two types of first aid kit. Um, but I've got um, Life Systems Trekkers first aid kit with just the essentials. Um, what I've done is bought a recess aid. And just some like blister plasters and just general bits and pieces which always stays on a belt so it's available in an emergency. Really this should have gone with like the uh, the shelter but <clears throat> it always stays in into this first aid kit. It's just handy because if you haven't, if you can't get and make a tarp put a tarp up you can get this wrap it around you you know it's going to help and just a bigger first aid kit bandages uh, trauma shears information everything and what I've also got the that yellow thing is um, biohazard um, waste bags which is handy to put your uh, medical waste in I've got the Trangier stove, 
and I bought a um, two extra uh, like pots just from a local camping shop. Um, they're ideal. The second one is inside that, and always take them out with me if I have to, especially the Trangia. At the back, um, the blue bottle. That's my um, uh, fuel for the Trangia with some methylated spirits and never go anywhere without it but if I'm only going out for like a few hours just even just take the dog out for a walk and just go out and have a brew somewhere I'll just take that little little shampoo bottle of meths and it's ideal in that um, water bottle is just like mess tin and hot chocolate, coffee, cup of soups, uh, seasonings, matches, water purification tablets and an extra stove. What runs on the histamine, uh, not histamine, uh, fuel, fuel blocks. <clears throat> Just a um, knife, fork and spoon and a spork. Which is really good, just to have an extra item. So if you lose your fork you know you don't really want to be eating with your hands especially if you're out in the wilderness don't know what you'll pick up so that's the what i'll take with me food for free quite a good buck um take this out with me all the time um found quite a few um wild onions just general different things with that but I think everyone knows um, what it's all about. Water bottle, always keep two. What I'll do is fill that up before I go and if I run out with that or I've only got half a bottle left and I'm going out for a night and I'm running out of water I can fill that one up and put water purification tablets or even boil which is a, an easier way of doing it without the foul taste of the tablets now that this was a good idea um, funky prep I seen on funky prepper um, when he was doing a wild camp just basically an ordinary tin <clears throat> and just basically wax and candle wick as you can see pre-lighted it especially if it's uh, your fingers cold it's going to take it's going to light very quickly really recommend doing stuff like that fishing yo-yo um, don't really say a name on it very good got I think got two of these also a BCB fishing kit with some uh, bank line. Always handy to have uh, extra sort of line. Just a simple um, survival kit. Um, I bought this one a good couple of years ago and it was crap. <coughs> you know, um, basically giving you a bit of bit of cordage. Well. May as well say it was uh, dental floss. But that all right in the weather book, Puri tabs, will go into this kit. So 50 foot of um, parachute cord, a Miltech striker, mag light, always got to keep a pen, glow stick whistle, knife sharpener and always keep a um, an extra knife with me this is just uh, the Bear Grylls if I can get it out Bear Grylls um, A-frame knife and it's ideal It'll, it will help Always keep a handsaw, it's always handy to have one, especially if you don't want to make too much noise, you know, if you're 
camping somewhere or bugging out anything in a, in a survival situation you don't want to make noise for people to hear you and a good handsaw is ideal um, we'll be updating this handsaw because obviously orange is going to stand out so two headlamps um, made by Pretzel both of them um, this one I've had for a number of years and last year I thought oh, I'll just go into a charity shop found found this one it's got the floodlight um, bulb and the spare bulb in there and when I picked it up and I seen it and I thought oh you know they're gonna be asking quite a bit for it and it's quite funny because I still got the price tag on it of £1.50 who says you can't get a bargain as we all know they are quite expensive this this one is discontinued now so um, if anything ever went wrong with it um, like the bulbs I'm having a hard time trying to get the bulb for this one because it's just got the ordinary bulb when I think it should be alright with that and then use that one for for serious things I think <clears throat> military um, folding spade shovel entrenching tool and what I've done with this one is I've actually got um, I think it's like a Chinese um, parachute cord and I've just wrapped the handle so at least then if anything happens I've got extra and plus you know it's a bit easier on your hand as well I do keep another bag inside the Army Bergen which is ideal for if you just want to go out in somewhere you set camp and you're just going to go for a walk you know anyone can use their brain what you know what you can use it for um, it's just an extra piece of kit to carry <coughs> keep numerous amount of cordage as you can see as in my survival kit plus I even keep some bungees with uh, like the cheap uh, carabiners for my shelters in my double D hammer uh, tarp I've actually got uh, three of these in that compression bag with 50 foot of um, parachute cord as well so at least then I've got extra cord available my three knives my Victorinox um, multi tool which is good pliers screwdriver the lot nothing Victorinox um, I think this one was a scout which is ideal for what I need just even if it's just for cutting meat anything like that and my um, what's supposed to be the Russian forces uh, tactical knife which is a really nice knife just really need to go and get that edge on it might have to have a word with uh, Wessex Blades and Bushcraft or um, someone like that to see if I can send it to them to have it sharpened and get them to see what they think about the knife at the same time but as I said all that kit will go into um, into that beer again and it is ideal for what I want and the other thing is um, to any prepper or anyone who wants to learn new life skills there's a new company just opened up um, not far from where I live um, and I recommend if you're on Facebook go and see them uh, vis visit them um, on Facebook and here they are 
Mid Wales uh, bushcraft and survival. And I only come across them by a friend who liked them on Facebook. <coughs> Sorry. And um, really nice people. Um, courses are available. Um, there is sort of a list there, but the camera isn't really focusing. But to any of my um, preppers and uh, bushcrafters, feel free to go and have have a look on their Facebook page and you know spread the word out for them as well to get people to recognise nice them as well. So I'll just give you a quick tour <clears throat> of everything what. I would take with me if I was going to go out for a few nights. Um, I have got a, a sleeping mat which is um, one of these inflatable ones where you just open a tap and they fill up. But I don't really attend to take that. But what I normally do with the sleeping bag and the bivy bag, I've actually got a army uh, woolen blanket. 100% wool and I think sometimes I could actually go out and just sleep in that you know with the tarp and like I said everything fits into that bergen but it's really good just a few extra bits I've just got to put in my um, survival kit like a wire saw or um, um, one of those fold down saws what I've seen quite a few preppers have um, got, but and if, if push comes to shove, as a, an extra sort of weapon, you know, if there was um, a serious um, thing happening in the world or even where I live, I have actually got a an air rifle there. Um, which I would take with me and it won't stop people but it's ideal to have in a, a situation but that's my kit and like I said please um, go and find Mid Wales um, Bushcraft and like them on Facebook and share the word thanks and hope to uh, do enough one soon